Good morning, my britches. What the fuck is up, everybody? I forgot to check my microphone as per usual. I'm pretty sure we should be good, but yes, we're good. What is up? Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be doing a full face get ready with me using a bunch of new makeup because uh, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Okay, so today I have a bunch of new makeup from Hourglass, Natasha Denona, Colored Rain. We used this palette last night and I didn't have the best first experience with it, but we're going to try it again and hopefully we have a better outcome for today. I'm going to switch up some of the brushes that I'm going to be using and we shall see, but we also got a Natasha Denona, the Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow. These look absolutely gorgeous, but so tiny. <laughs> um, I did also pick up the new Hourglass blushes. I did pick up both shades. I'll be using those both today. Um, I have just some of these products you've seen before. I'll let you guys know which ones I've used previously, which I'm pretty sure all of them I've used at some point. But I just figure we'll sit down, we'll get ready this morning, and then I'm just going to get ready to do absolutely nothing because... I'm going to be editing for the rest of the day today. So I did receive some of these things as gifts in PR. So I'll make sure to specify any of that. If I forget, I will leave it linked in the description box. Anything that I'm going to be using today is also down in the description box, along with all the other places that you could follow me. So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up before we get started. I am one of those channels. I like to do makeup in real time. So you see a lot of live streams on my channel. So if that's not your jam, this is not the place for you. <laughs> so good morning to all my bitches in the live chat. How you guys doing this morning? What's good? What's popping? I see you guys all coming in saying hello to all, all of each other. I do want to say a big thank you to Rochelle again for sending me a Venmo donation. Thank you so much, Rochelle. You, are, you guys are like far too kind to me. Thank you so much for the donation. I do appreciate it when you guys do send anything along those lines because it does go right back into my channel. So thank you, Rochelle. She said, love you, britches. That was her note on, on the Venmo. So good morning, everyone. Today I'm drinking pineapple juice because I'm fresh out of coffee and I'm like, <laughs> I got to make sure I go to the store today because wow. Mm. So today we're just going to jump right into it. <laughs> and I hope this doesn't start off as a train wreck, but I'm going to change up some things because you know, I got some comments on last night's video, like I should try using a sticky primer. I should try using different brushes. All right, all right, you know what? I'll take that, I'll try. It worked. That's what we're gonna do today. So I don't use a sticky primer. I always use the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. They are launching four new shades and I can't wait. I should be receiving those in PR. So I will definitely be sharing those with you guys as soon as I get them. I don't know when I'm going to get them, but this is this is my favorite primer for my eyes. <laughs> Michelle, I would die without my morning coffee. I I don't need coffee, but it's just one of those things. It's pretty much like how I associate my makeup with like the weather. I just associate coffee with the morning and I'm just like, "Ooh, I just I like the whole you get up. It's just like your time to yourself. We watch some YouTube videos. I catch up on my Marco Polos. Like I just like having the coffee, but I'm also a big fan of, of some OJ, but I don't have any orange juice either. So pineapple juice just had to do, even though it makes me think of my favorite um, alcoholic beverage. It's okay. I love me a good Malibu and pineapple or Malibu Sprite and lime. That is my drink of choice. I love it. Both of those are drinks of choice. I love coconut rum. Look at, we're talking about alcohol already. Like, oh my God, Karen had me laughing so hard the other day because <laughs> I, I work overnights. I'm sure you guys know this by now if you've been watching my channel. I work overnights and I was getting out of work at like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm like, is it okay to be like wanting wine already? <laughs> like, it feels so wrong, but at the same time, it feels so right because that wine, it's the wine I was drinking in last night's video, that Thousand Islands Raspberry, I think it's Raspberry Isle is how you pronounce it. It's so good. I'm just like, oh, I want to drink it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Only having one cup a day has been torture to me. Oh, no. Tara, I don't, I don't see anybody else having that problem, but try like exiting out the video and then coming back. Maybe that will help. Oh, my gosh. Good morning. What's your guys' favorite? 
eye primer. I always like to know because I'm like a creature of habit. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So when I find a primer that I love, I don't, I don't steer too far from it. That's like with any makeup for the most part. Like when I find something I love, I feel like with brows, eye primer, those are my main two. Like if I find something that's bomb, I have a very hard time like steering away from that. So now we're going to go in with the Juicy Boost by Colored Rain. So you guys probably saw I did do a live swatch party last night with Karen Harris. This is what the palette looks like. The swatches, the swatches look so nice. But man, oh man, did we struggle last night. So I'm going to try just doing things a little bit differently, but I'm just going to say full disclosure. I don't like having to do this. Like I like, I like makeup that I don't have to change how I typically do my eyes. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things like, I don't know. It's, I don't like it to be like a learning experience, <laughs> a learning experience. So I'm going to try using my Sigma E27. I'm going to take the shade mint leaves. It's just the, the deeper matte green. And I'm going to put this in my crease. The star of the show is going to be the Natasha Denona liquid multi-chrome, but we're doing, like I said, a full face. Oh my gosh. I just hope this ends up better than it did last night. Cause man, oh man, the struggle was so real <laughs> last night. So I'm going to try, cause I didn't set my lid today. I personally like to set my lid just because it's what I'm comfortable with. I don't get the skipping. So I'll usually like press the shadow in first and then I'll end up swiping after. And then I want to do like a little, a little sort of a wing moment today. How's everybody doing this morning? Happy, today's Tuesday, right? I don't even know what day of the week it is. Happy Tuesday. I'm sure a lot of you guys are heading to work right now or already at work. How many of you guys, <laughs> give me some emoji. How many of you guys are secretly watching while you're at work right now? Because... That's, that's such a vibe. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I just, I feel like for how pigmented these swatch, I just have to go in so much and I don't, I don't love that. I don't love it. I'm going to do the same, the same look on each eye. So I hope you guys have tuned in for a longer video today. Cause I, I just like to do makeup in real time. Like, like I was saying in last night's video, I think this palette, it's a palette that I think it, it obviously works. Like, I think I got decent looks out of it, but it's one of those palettes that it's like, okay, but how long did that look take you? That's what we were saying last night. And I'm just, I don't know. I like lives for that reason, because you see the entire process. I know it's not ideal to sit and watch somebody for... <laughs> an hour plus just putting on makeup. But I mean, we watch movies. We watch movies for that long. So why not? Why not watch a makeup video? Yeah, this green, it's just not like usually when I like when I use this brush with the elf J kiss a palette. So so pigmented like it's just not as pigmented as, as I was expecting. I think that's that's the critique that I have for this shade in particular. I see Karen's Karen deaf watching it work. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That's one thing I love about like morning lives is everybody's like, I'm supposed to be doing stuff, but I'm totally not. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, she cute, but how long did that just take to do like a crease? That's not even like super, super blended. That's that's my bitch about this palette. I'm going to take cucumber avocado. I was so glad that Christina picked up on that one last night. That, that video, who saw that video back in the day? An avocado. Yay. <laughs> that was like the funniest shit I've ever seen. I mean, I wish, I wish my kids would get excited about getting an avocado, but oh man. That's like one of those video and like, that's one of those videos when that kid grows up, <laughs> that's going to follow him for the rest of his life. <laughs> Let's see. Try using your pencil brush from BK beauty and blend the edges out with something fluffy. See, that's like, I don't like doing my make. Like I want it like this brush should, should serve the purpose that I'm trying to do. That's like, 
I totally get it. Like when people give like criticism like that, or like just try to find different ways to get things to work. But that's not the point of like when we give negative reviews or unpopular reviews, it's just, it doesn't work for me. You know what I mean? That's where it's just, there's nothing wrong with saying, Hey, I just didn't like this. I just, or not that I gotta be better. I gotta be better for Heather. This just wasn't my favorite. There's nothing wrong with saying this just is not my favorite. And also, like I said, I'm switching up the brushes tonight because I did use my brushes with BK Beauty. I use these brushes all the damn time, as you guys have seen. And I was struggling with this palette last night. But in case you guys missed last night's video, so exciting. They are extending. BK has offered to extend the bundle until September because, I mean, you guys are clearly loving loving the bundles so they wanted to extend it another month so in the case that you couldn't purchase it if you wanted it i mean august is still happening but it is going to be available throughout the month of september and i'm so excited i'm so excited seeing everybody's videos i talked about it also last night i created a community playlist so i've been adding any videos that i've seen other creators using the brushes reviewing the brushes that way you guys could see just more people than just me using, you know, using the brushes. I'm so surprised at how many people are loving, <laughs> loving that, was it the 206 this or the 207? So many people are loving this. This is what I like to use this brush for is this purpose right here. I used this same shade for the same purpose last night. And it just, it just was not, I just don't feel like that these layer very nicely like they all just kind of they're just not my favorite that's 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 the lump summary of it these just aren't my favorite and i'm just trying to use them to see if you know maybe i'll find a different way to make them work because i do feel like it is it is important to kind of switch up your techniques or try new things but i also don't want to learn a new lesson like every time that I, I want to try an eyeshadow pill. Like these just, I don't know. I'm having like the same feelings as I did last night. Like it's just underwhelming, I think. It's a lot of time, blending, work. I think you'll get good looks out of it, but I just don't necessarily know if it's worth what I paid for it. That's that's the end end summary of it. And I still feel the same. Like, this is just, I don't know. I usually don't have to work this hard. We'll just leave it at that. I'm waiting for, <laughs> I'm waiting for my male person to bring me this palette today. If you guys get this palette and you do have different experiences with it, please let your girl know because I'm not like the end-all be-all with makeup reviews. Like, if you're into something, fucking buy it and review it for yourself. Like, be your own influencer. I've said that before on my channel. It's like, you know, we do videos on YouTube to give you guys like an idea, but it still comes down to makeup is so subjective and people's preferences are so different. Like there's going to be reviews that people love this palette. Unfortunately, just for me, it's just not what I want in a palette. Like it's just, it's just not. I think that's always important to remember. Like I even feel like that green, it's like, where did it go? So let's add a little bit more. Like, this is just a step that I don't want to deal with. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't want to get too ranty, like, first thing in the morning. But, damn. This just... <laughs> I don't know if I'll... I don't know if I'll keep this palette in my collection to be quite candid. Like, this eye looks really good. Except for that little, little blend. But it's not... It doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to put that liquid multi-chrome on there. I'm so excited about those, though. Oh, my gosh. So I'm just going to try to make this look as, you know, as good as I can. But let me tell you what. this I think you guys could all attest to this if you've watched my videos. Like, this type of look does not take me no 15 minutes to do. No way. Not for two shades. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. I do want to take some... Some of that berry beet. I'm gonna use that Sigma 20. Was it the E27? This is why I love this brush because it could serve as like a packer and a fluffy brush because it does have like a flat 
end to it. I just thought this would be cool to add in here to go with that multi-chrome. Uh, let's see if this was a good idea or not. Or we could always just cover it. <laughs> oh, so how's everybody doing? Trust me, we appreciate the honesty. Thank you. Here's my thing too, is I honestly feel like sometimes negative reviews are more helpful than positive reviews. Am I the only one that feels that way? Like, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like when you see like the super clickbaity like thumbnails and stuff, like if you look at if you look at mine and Karen's thumbnail now, I did change it because we're just like, what? Like what the hell is this? I I think negative reviews are so helpful because it's like I know the things to pay attention to. And who knows? I, I try to keep my like even if it's negative, I try to keep it fair and try to mention like Okay, so like if you like a more buildable eyeshadow, like if this color story speaks to you, but you like a more buildable shadow, this will be this would be more ideal. I don't like that. So that's where it's always important too to listen to just different people's preferences as well. I feel like over time you obviously lose like learn, learn like your favorite creators, preferences, techniques, and all that sort of stuff. But your technique might be totally different than mine. Just like with my, like how different I do like my concealer before my foundation, that like still blows people away. Like, why do you do that? Or where's your foundation? But it's like, it just is what I like. It just is what it is. It might not be for everybody, but it works for me. Yeah, like this doesn't look bad, but I don't know. I'm just, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if this could come together. But I'm even noticed, like I notice already, like this is not, it doesn't stay. Like it's not, I hope I'm in focus. Like you see how it's doing something funky right there? It did the same thing last night. It's like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I just don't. <laughs> okay. So you guys are saying you appreciate negative reviews. I appreciate that because <laughs> that's just, that's just a reality. Like not all makeup is going to be fucking bomb. It's just not. That's so unrealistic to think. Like, I've been having such good luck with products, especially recently. But man, oh man, I was just expecting a lot more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the bad is just as helpful as, re as, as the good. I completely agree with that. Well, where are we at? 17 minutes and I'm still just like, okay, let me go in and fix this now. It just, it shouldn't take this long. It's but like this green. It's just like, I feel like I have to go into it so much to get the pigment that I want. Let's see. <laughs> Start my computer to see better. <laughs> I probably should have done like the more close up camera just so you guys could really see. Let me try to, oh, that was probably really annoying to see. Okay, so this is what we're looking like on on the eye. So this is using like my favorite eye primer. Like it doesn't look bad, but like this is why I like to set my lids right there. You see that crease? You see that? That's why I set my lids. Because when I don't, that always happens, never fails. All right, let me try to focus this back. Ooh, I'm getting better at this, guys. Watch out, watch out. So now let's play the game of let's Fill in that crease there because you girls got hooded eyes. Do you guys see what I'm saying though? Like look at how long this is taking me. Okay. I'm going to be here all fucking day if I don't, if I don't move on. Now, this is what I'm so excited about. I, <laughs> Jamie. 35 likes with 58 in the chat. Please like the video. I, I'm with Jamie on that one. Judy says, I am loving the hourglass eye primer. Kinky Sweat's going to get me to buy that. 100%. 100%. Maybe they're in the, the next Sephora VIB sale. So this is going to be the shade. See, I always do that, guys. Ultraviolet. This is going to be, I say that all the damn time. Ultraviolet. These are, I showed this last night. These could not be tinier. Like they're so, they're so small. I pulled out 
the Patrick Ta or Patrick Ta Patrick Star the one size. Just for size reference, I don't have any of the um, I don't have any of the Stila anymore. The packaging looks a lot like the Stila, but it, it's smaller than the Stila. Like this is the Urban Decay glitter liner. Tiny, tiny. I'm like looking to see what else do I have that's here. A little Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Like they're tiny for $28. They're super tiny. So that I'm not loving, but I do want to touch on this because I was sent this by one of my subscribers. This was in the box. I'm like, I have to do it. I have to pull it out and I have to show this. So I was sent the JD Glow Cosmetics. This is the liquid multi-chrome in the shade a lot. I want to just show this because I want to compare the formulas. I've never tried this one on my eyes. However, I know people were saying, oh, indie brands have done these types of shadows before. Totally get it. But I do not feel that these formulas are the same. I haven't tried these on my eyes, but as far as the effect of this eyeshadow, like look at that shift right there. Look at that green. It's like pink to purple, back to green. It even has like a silver, but they're like sparkly. They're so so pretty. So again, this is the shade ultraviolet. This is the shade a lot from JD Glow. And just swatching this next to the Natasha Denona. The JD Glow is a lot more sheer. Like I had to go over that a couple times, but there's not a reflect like Natasha's. The shades aren't going to be comparable, but I wanted you guys to see it. Like the formulas, the formulas are not the same. The reflect is not the same, at least going by these two shades right here. It's just, to me, I think the Natasha Denona's, it has like a, it has a sparkle to it as well. It kind of reminds me of like a liquid form of the Cleona Cosmetics multi-chromes. I love those multi-chromes because they just have, they're just like a little bit more special than some of the other multi-chromes that I've seen. Granted, I have not tried a ton of them. If you guys want a multi-chrome channel, Millie from Bad to the Brow, she's always doing, she does like multi-chrome Mondays. I just wanted to show you these because I thought they were going to be really similar, but they're not, but they're not similar at all. I do think that Natasha Denona, it does look prettier. However, you do get a lot more product in the JD Glow, at least it looks like it. You get 0.2, was it? Yeah, 0.2 fluid ounces. You get 0.08 in the Natasha Denona. I'm not sure about how much these are, but I know they're less expensive than the Natasha. But still, they're so, so pretty. Is this the first colored rain palette you didn't like? I only have the, um, oh my God, what's the name of it? The Queen of Hearts. That's the only one that I have. But Karen has quite the collection. Like, it even seems like the pigmentation is like fading. Like, the that pink does not look as pigmented to me in real life. That That crease is still there. I'm just not impressed with this palette. Let me just let me just say that. So I'm going to put this. I'm just going to apply it right to the eye. Because that is what I really loved. Like when I saw Natasha's swatches, I'm like, oh my God, look at those like directly applied to the eye. I was a good girl. I got one to start. But it does pull more green. Like when you swatch it, you see more of a purple. On the eye, I see more of the green. I feel like... I may re regret applying it this way, but this is my first time trying this liquid eyeshadow. I never got Natasha's original, like her original liquid shadows, and then I'm just going to blend the edge. Where's, where's my, um, I'm going to use that brush, the Esom W23, just to kind of dab out the edges a little bit. It's definitely not as vibrant on the eyes. It's a lot more subtle. But it still looks really pretty. Like this with a glitter over the top. I don't know. I think for $28, though, it's it's kind of lackluster on the eyes. Like it looks way prettier on, on the hand, in my humble opinion. I don't really see any glitter reflect with that. How do we feel? Do you guys see? I could definitely see the shift, though. See that? They're just cool. They're just 
freaking cool. I just want to blend this edge right here. I mean, that applied super easy though. Like <laughs> super, super easy. <laughs> I wasn't into these at all until I saw Kate with two of them on her lip. Yeah. Cause she just goes in and she just kind of dusts them all over. I wanted to do it more of like a, something like a cut crease. Cause that's what really spoke to me. But I know like for somebody like Kate, like she usually doesn't do too much as far as applying, like she doesn't really do much with eyeshadow looks. She's like a one and done sort of a, for an eye preference. Me, I like to do like a bunch of different colors and stuff like that. Oh my God, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. It just looks different, different than I expected. So let me blend this. I mean, I think they're pretty easy to work with. Right? That was easy. Where's that little staples? That was easy. It just gives a cool dimension to a look. I think it would really, I don't know, like set a look off. Oh my God, I think they're cute. They're just not nearly as like a, uh, vibrant as I was, ex I was expecting them to have a lot more shine. They're pretty flat. So that's a little disappointing. I was just expecting a little bit more, but I could add some glitter over the top, but for $28, I'm like, um, here, here's my feelings right now. I think for a look like this, it's, it's cute, but I kind of wish it was, it was a little bit more. I think these are going to really stand out like if you just apply it all over your lids with nothing, that way you could really see the duo or multi-chrome effect to it. But I think it's still really cool. I'm getting like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vibes right now. <laughs> they do. They dry down fast. Like I could already feel that they're dry. Like this side's completely dry. But that's where I feel like with all liquid shadows, I learned that with like the Stila. I'm like, okay, let's just let it dry down or let's just apply it like manipulate it as fast as I can and then it'll dry and then we're good. I kind of want to apply another layer. Do you guys want me to do that? Hopefully I don't screw it all up, but it's, it's very subtle. Like if the multi-chromes like the, the, oh my gosh, Cleona, I almost said Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace also has multi-chromes, but uh, with Cleona's, I feel like you get more of like a punch with these ones. It's very subtle, but it still has a really pretty, shift to it. I'm kind of glad that I put that pink because I think the pink ties in really nicely with that multi-chrome. I think it's cute. They stand out way more on their own. I'll have to keep trying them more. I mean, I think it looks pretty for sure. It's just, I think that might be what this is better for, but let me, I'm going to go in and apply a little bit more just to see if we get any sort of a added punch. And then if you guys missed what shade that I'm using, it's ultraviolet. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like it, it adds a little bit extra. I, like it. I feel like you get like a little bit more of a reflect. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to tap the edges or anything. I mean, it made this palette look better, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I've got my fan going over here. So I'm like, let me keep my eyes closed. All right, let me, let me just tap this a little bit. So it blends a little bit better. I mean, they're really cute. I don't know if I'll buy all of them. Like initially I was like, oh, like when I swatched it, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm buying all of them. Now that it's on my eyes, I don't know. Maybe when I apply it by itself, maybe I'll feel differently about it. Hang on. Let me grab my my Lunar Beauty blush palette. Guys, this is restocking. I took a screenshot. I'm not going to use this today, but I took a screenshot of the information because this palette's restocking this weekend. Hang on. Let me get the exact details for you guys. Let's see. Friday the 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Lunar Beauty's restocking the Moon Prism blush palette. I've been really enjoying this one. 
I mean, it's like a, it's a blush palette. I know Heather, Heather Austin, she really loves the palette. It's like, if you like blush palette, it's, if you like blush palettes, it is a really nice palette. So these, I would say it's safe to say that these can layer. It's just, you're not going to get that super punchy look. I want to add, I want to add some glitter. Let's do the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Cat Call Glitter Liner. I love these damn things. I just want it to be a little bit extra. I'm assuming this will probably take away from the multi-chrome effect, but I just wanted something a little bit more. So in a future video, I'll just do that by itself to see if I prefer that. Cause I'm pretty sure I've seen people just applying it. Like you take the, the multi-chrome and you just kind of fluff it all over the lid. That's the, the look I'm seeing a lot of people do. So maybe that's where it'll really, really wow me. As of right now, I'm just like, okay, I like this, but I would just rather buy more Cleona multi-chromes for a less expensive price. Because even though the Cleona multi-chromes are super duper expensive, they're still cheaper than this glitter multi-chrome. I think they're like the jeweled multi-chromes are like 20, 25 Canadian, I think. So expensive, but they're so pretty. If you guys haven't seen those, oh my gosh. I don't know how you haven't seen them on my channel if you haven't. Let me show you. Let me show you. I get I get so excited every time I pull this palette out. JD Glow knows what's up. I just, I don't know, like when I saw this one, I was like, I'm, I'm not really that impressed. But these, it's going to be these, let's see. Or no, did I mix these up? There we go. That threw me off. The top six. Those are the jeweled multi-chromes. The shades aren't going to be... Actually, no. Now that I look at this one, this shade is actually similar to what this Natasha Denona went. Wow. Natasha Denona one is. It's not identical, but like... I, I think I would just rather buy this because it, it's so much more punchy than the Natasha. But if you're not into super punchy, you might like these liquid shadows more than you like something like this. Like when I apply this to my lids, it's like bam in your face. Don't get me wrong. This is really, really pretty. It's just, I definitely want to keep wearing it more. This glitter does not want to dry down. So we're going to, we're going to move on. Let me know if you guys have tried the liquid multi-chromes and let me know your thoughts on it. Yeah. Like it's cute. I think that glitter might have been a bad idea, but it's okay. We'll carry on. Carry on. Yeah, she cute. Bye, Steffi. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Oh my God. The whole stained glass collection is incredible. I could not could not agree with you more on that one. So let's let's move on. Okay, I'm just I'm not that impressed, to be quite honest. I think I totally fucked up this eye. Can you guys see it? Okay, bad idea. Do not. <laughs> I blended that out too soon. I'm going to put more of this liquid shadow on there because it totally picked up the, the glitter totally picked up what was underneath it. So I blended that out way too soon. Okay, let's carry on. We'll come back to the eyes because wowza. We're just, we're just on the struggle bus the past couple days, guys. <laughs> So let me go on. I'm going to go to the face now. We're going to use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. You see what I'm... Okay. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm at a half hour and I only have a subpar looking eye look done. There's my final thoughts on the colored rain because I'm just feeling the exact same way as I did yesterday. I am not impressed. It makes you not even want to finish your... Like, I want to wipe this off. <laughs> I honestly want to wipe this off and just put... Let me know if you guys want me to do that. I would I would like to just wipe this off and just apply that liquid multi-chrome all over the lids to see what it looks like. So let me know. Because I just, I hate how this looks. I hate how the eye look looks. That's just me being honest. Anywho, let's keep going, guys. We're having a good time. <laughs> I'm going to use the Glossier, the stretch concealer. I did a video. It was a... Me, <laughs> me turning myself into Kate the Great Beauty because she sent me quite a few Glossier products. So I did use those in a dedicated video. 
it was two videos ago now. I wasn't like it, like when I first used this concealer, that's why I wanted to use it again because one, it's my newest concealer, but two, I wore this last night and uh, it was not doing my under eyes any favors. Like it, it really fell into the fine lines and I set it. So I was like, um, oh, let's see. Okay, you guys are saying wipe it off, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for that because my initial review still stands. Even using different brushes, I feel the exact same way as I did last night. I'm just, I'm just not impressed at all with the colored rain. And it's not me trying to be like shady to colored rain or anything like that. It's just sometimes, sometimes the products just aren't good. And I don't feel like this is good for me. It's not my favorite. <laughs> All right, let's start over. Half hour in and we're starting over. But now we can see what the liquid multi-chrome looks like. I mean, that was one of the main focuses for this video today anyways. I, I feel like I have like a green stain right there. What is, like it's on both sides, look at that. Is that from the multi-chrome? Do you guys see that? Yeah, that should definitely come up. That there's like some sort of a stain happening on that crease area on both sides. That's so weird. I've never experienced that before. I know you guys could see that because I could see it in the viewfinder. Oh my god, those wipes. I haven't used wipes on my face in so long before last night. Wow. They're like burning. <laughs> burning. My skin is too sensitive to use makeup wipes on my face. I'm so excited to see the hourglass blushes. I'm thinking of purchasing them. I I love hourglass blushes. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to rave about them. That, that's just what you're coming here for, is me raving about hourglass blushes. All right, I'm going to try to prime really quick with the clean canvas, just because this is what I would normally do anyways. I'm going to go a lot softer, though, just because we're doing a more effortless type of look with that glitter multi-chrome. Like when I'm doing like a full eye look, I know people like Robert Wells say like, you don't need to use a ton of eye primer. But when I'm doing like a makeup look like I was just doing, I like to, to like carve everything out. That is so distracting, that line right there. So distracting for me. Let's see, I'm gonna do some actual work, have fun guys. I'll be back to watch the playback. Thanks Ruby, thanks for popping in. I didn't think you would even be here right now. I thought. I don't know why I thought you were working, but thanks for being here. All right, that's good enough. Let me just throw throw the fingers over it. Wow, oh, guys, we're just we're just on the struggle bus. <laughs> if you would have used Mel's palette, you would have been done exact. That's exactly exactly exactly. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah. Sometimes just some products aren't aren't good or sometimes they just don't work for certain people. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go like this and take the BK201 and just, because I'm pretty sure this is what people are doing, is just like fluffing it all over and then just kind of building it as they see fit. And keep in mind, too, the shades that people are using. Like, I could see a very subtle duochrome or multi-chrome. But I've seen a couple people wearing, there's like a pinky. It's like a pink. It looked like almost like a pink purple shift. I think some are going to show up better than others. Definitely. So if you are interested in these, I would say pay attention to the shades that people are using. And then even how they apply it. But I mean, it's cute. It's like a really soft. It's just a really soft dual chrome, multi chrome. I'm going to keep saying dual chrome on accident. The Tiny Marvels palette was delivered to the wrong place and it had to be redirected. I ordered it on August 7th. And still, oh no. That's like me with my Be Perfect palette. I'm still waiting for it for even to be shipped. So that video should be coming whenever I decide to actually get it. 
Let me add a little bit more. Or no, I'm going to work one side at the time because these do dry down. I mean, they dry down pretty quick, actually. And then if you want a more concentrated look, you could use something that's not as fluffy as this brush, but this is just the look that I was going for. I mean, I think it looks really pretty, but I don't know. I just don't know if I would pay $28 for such a small amount of something that looks okay. But I'm also curious to try more shades. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer Gold. You're so funny. This reminds me of the pastel multi-chromes from... Cleona, like the, just the very subtle effect. I don't even, can you guys even see it? It's so subtle. I can see it more in person than I can on camera, but it, it comes back again to, I just don't know if I would pay $28 for this, but some of the looks look beautiful. So I think it depends. On, I think certain shades would be worth it, but this one, I'm just like, okay, she cute. She cute, but... I don't know. I kind of want to know what that more pinky toned one is. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's move on. Let's go back to concealer. Yes. Um, Kristen, I'm a crane operator. <laughs> that is what I do. I pick things up and I put them down. All right. So back to the Glossier. This Glossier Stretch Concealer, like when I first used it, yesterday I applied it with my fingers. So I'm going to go back to applying it with a brush to see if I have better luck with that. Because in the initial video that I used this, I first applied it with a brush and then I kind of tapped it in with my fingers. I love the finish on this. I love the texture of this concealer because it's so light. Like it looks like I'm applying a lot, but I'm really not. Like there's really there's really not a lot of product and it has decent coverage. Like I would say it's like a medium coverage. I do think I need a different shade though. Like I think this is a good match, but I like my under eye concealers to be a little bit more pink. I think it's just more flattering for me or it's maybe it's just a preference thing, but I do like more pink undertone concealers for underneath my eyes. Uh, let's see. I think I would try a more dense brush rather than a fluffy. See, I don't even know if that would work because even when I applied it straight from it, it's not, it's not punchy. Like it's not a punchy shade in my opinion. I think it's, I think it's the shade is what I'm not loving about the Natasha Denona. I don't think it's like the formula. I think the formula feels great. It's just the shade. It's not punchy enough. But I'll keep trying it. I mean, it, maybe I'll find a brush that I love for it, but I just don't think I would get the exact look that I'm looking for. Like, I want something that's more in your face. The pinky one is Dragonfly. I'm going to get Scarab. The Scarab looks so pretty, too. Maybe I'll switch this one that I have to get a different shade. Maybe. We'll see. We shall see. Uh, let's see. I'm like looking. It's very luminous. Like, do you guys see how luminous? <laughs> let's see. I've never wanted a makeup product more than the multi-chromes. And the multi-chrome liners lost everything when my husband died. Oh, no, I can hardly keep one in my mouth. Girl. There are other things that are more important in life besides makeup. You focus on yourself. Makeup is fun and makeup is like, it's, it's fun. But there's other things like that. Yeah, you definitely aren't missing out on anything. Revolutionary, mind-blowing. I'm sorry to hear that, though, about your husband. I could not even imagine. I could not. When my husband got blown up by a firework, I nearly lost my shit. I was like, I, I thought he was dead. It was, it was wild. I could not even imagine. He's like, why are you more upset than I am? I'm like, because I thought you died. Balling my freaking eyes out. I'm going to go in with milk makeup. I've been applying this just right to my face. 
and it's actually been working out quite well. So I'm just going to do that again. At first, I would just go in and pick it up from, like, pick it up with my brush. But this one's more, I would say, it's creamier. Like, I'm kind of surprised that this is called a matte bronzer because it does not look matte at all. Like, this definitely feels more luminous. And I'm using the BK106 from my brush bundle. Hi, Katie. Good morning. I'm still feeling the same way about the colored rain palette. So I hopefully you missed it. We already applied it and took it off because it just it's it's just not it for me, sis. So hopefully you have better luck with with yours. <laughs> oh, I'm so curious to see what everybody thinks about that palette now because oh wow. Oh wow. I feel like once my face is done too, you'll be able to see the multi-chrome better. Is that weird? Uh, oh my God, you guys are so supportive of one another. It's so, uh, the community that we have here is so wonderful. You guys are another main reason that I love doing lives. It's cause like seeing you guys interact with each other. Like I see you guys all being so sympathetic in the comments right now. It's just, it's so nice to see like, wow, there really are great people out there, you know? Oh, that's so disappointing. Mine should be here in the next few hours. I, okay. You gotta like, you gotta slide into my DMS and tell me what you think of it. It's like, as soon as you try it. Cause I'm so curious. I don't know. It's just too much work for me. So there's the milk makeup bronzer. It definitely, to me, it does not I guess it looks matte, but I'm just surprised it's called a matte bronzer because I'm like, it doesn't feel matte. It doesn't, I don't know. There's no radiance to it, but I don't know. I think it's just because when I hear matte, I always assume like, almost like dry looking, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. We're going to use the Tom Ford, the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. This has been a current favorite for me. This is still relatively new at Sephora. I've just been really enjoying it. I'm like wiping these all off. The JD Glow is harder to get off than the Natasha though. Yep. We got to work a little bit more with the JD Glow to get it off. The Natasha wiped right off. Let's see. <laughs> I'm nervous, but we'll see. I'm excited to receive the BK brushes. They've been sitting in Chicago for 10 days. Really? I feel like everybody's been getting there super quick. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully you get them soon. All right, so I have the shade 5.6 Ivory Beige. I did a first impression on this, and I've been I've been loving it, like, ever since. I'm starting to try something new with how I've been doing my foundation, because normally I go right in and cut out the sides. I'm going to try to work in the middle and work my way out. See, I like to try to switch up my techniques every once in a while, too, guys. See? Just because I keep noticing... Not, not only with this foundation, but a lot of the times I'm like, wait, did I cover my nose? I feel like I keep forgetting to do my nose recently. So we shall see. And then I'm using the 101 brush from BK Beauty. The other option for your foundation brush. So the 106 was what I used for my bronzer. You could choose either the 106 or the 101 for your bundle if you guys do decide to pick it up i'm so excited about it i'm so excited like seeing everybody's videos is so cool so stinking cool so what's everybody's up to today is everybody at work there's like 84 of you up in here and y'all are dead silent i'm like wait did i miss a comment i still see katie's comment what's everybody doing i feel like you're all just listening at work don't mind me. I'll just I'll just entertain myself, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I always plan every live. I'm like, okay, plan every live for nobody to show up. Especially when I ship ship. Especially when I switch up my times. Or sometimes I wonder if YouTube is lagging. That could also be very, very possible. Bam. Beautiful. This, the undertone in this foundation, the shade in particular, it's definitely more, it almost gives me like an olive -y vibe. I remember somebody said it looked more gray on camera. 
but in person it doesn't look gray. Okay, I really wonder if the comments are for are you guys can somebody say something cuz I see how many people. Yeah, okay. So I just got like a ton of comments coming in. That was so weird. So it must have it must have uh it must have gotten frozen there. Um, Jennifer says, thanks for a recommendation on the prop of beauty. I bought six shades. Her fa My favorite is her magic. It's so good. I love those lipsticks still. They're so nice. They're just so, so soft. <laughs> I'm at work at home. <laughs> I'm doing laundry, then going to get a couple groceries, getting a couple peel later. Ooh, that's exciting. Going to work out, but catch up on the... <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to start working out, but I really need to. 83 watching and 15 thumbs ups. Guys, do you guys realize how much thumbs ups really do help our videos? Or do you guys just not care? <laughs> At this point, I'm beginning to think that you guys just don't care. Because it takes two seconds. If you're watching, like I literally, anytime I'm watching a video, I just immediately click on the thumbs up. If I'm watching it enough to actually watch through it, I'm clicking the thumbs up or you can click thumbs down. It still helps. See, I see the multi-crumbs more now that my face is all done. Okay, let me go in. This is not a new powder, but this is the, I think, newest in my collection. This just goes to show I haven't purchased any like loose face powders in a while. The Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm going to use this to set set my concealer using my little Beauty Blender Puff. Oh, you guys see 69 thumbs up. Nice. Well, I mean, we should see 87. I'm just kidding. I'm grateful for all you guys that interact with my channel. I just say these things to crack jokes. Crack jokes, and obviously it does help, but I'm not going to peer pressure you to like a video, even though probably sometimes it feels like I am. <laughs> oh... I still love this powder so much. I'm just going to put this on all the areas that I have large pores. I like to put it over my nose because my nose always breaks up. And then even on the forehead because I have a lot of texture up here. I just like this, this little beauty blender puff. I just like this so much because it feels like it could actually like push things into my skin. And I think it does make everything look more smooth. Yes. Love that. Okay. We're done with that. I'm ac actually, no, I'm going to throw this actually all over my face too. I'm going to use the BK 104, another brush from my bundle guys. And I'm just going to throw this all over my face. Cause why not? There might be nine viewers watching, but sleeping. That's, that's true. Bar updates. Oh, we're going to get the tea today. Bar updates. We're still in the liquor license process. We are still renovating. It's just, it's moving very slow. The renovation aspect of it is moving very slow because like my husband slash our company is doing probably like 90% of the work. Like the plumbing, the things that we can't do like plumbing, um, a lot of framing they're doing. Let's see, what else could, they couldn't do plumbing or electric, but everything else they're doing. But plumbing and electric are all done. So it's basically like we're putting it together like piece by piece, like one room at a time. So it's just, it's moving slow. It's just moving slow. I'm honestly, to be honest, I'm honestly to be, oh my God. I'm honestly not in any hurry just because of everything going on right now. It's just, it's already going to be hard enough starting up a, a new business slash new bar. And then let alone having all of these restrictions and everything going on. It's just like, I'm sure they'll be going on when I decide to open anyways, but it's like, I just, I don't know. I'm just not in any hurry. Like I'm very impatient. Like I'm just excited to open, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not going to rush <laughs> at this point. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, really? It leads to a bronzer, not a loose powder. What powder are you using? I didn't catch it. I'll have to. I'm sorry. I didn't. I thought I put the right one. Dogs barking as usual. 
I use the hourglass translucent setting cutter. I'm like, I could have swore that I linked that, but I'll try it again. I'll fix that after. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, the hourglass ambient, like the veil translucent powder. And then I'm using the Nabla bronzer. Thank you for letting me know that. It is, guys, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. So anytime you guys notice things like that, I do appreciate it when you guys point it out. Because, I mean, obviously I link things so it directs you to the correct <laughs> website slash product. What is this? Got a little sparkle on my face. I've been really enjoying this bronzer. I just, I talked about this before. I did a dedicated video to the Nabla, like the first time trying Nabla. And their products are just different. Like I have to use different brushes for them because they're so dense. They are so dense. What will the vibe of the bar be? Neighborhood swanky sports. Whatever the fuck I feel like it, that's the vibe. <laughs> it's very important to me to have a space that's like a chameleon. I want the vibe to be like, so one day it could be this, another day it could be this. I just, I like that. I don't like going somewhere and being like expecting the same thing every single time. I mean, overall it's gonna have a vibe, but you might walk in and be like, oh, wait, <laughs> what's happening? So, that's, that's pretty much all I want to say at this point. It's going to be like a chameleon. Yes, I agree. The hourglass powder is amazing, Karen. So good. Uh, let's see. Have you come up with any mixed drinks that will be exclusive to your bar? Not really yet. I haven't gotten that far. Like, I really haven't gotten that into it just because there's so many other things that are so much more important. That's going to be more of, I think, will kind of come. Like, I obviously have some that are going to be I guess, I guess then, yeah, like I've thought about it, but I'm not, that's not a, a, a key focus at this point as far as, oh, I need to have a whole menu. It's more, of, I'm just making things the way that I would like to see done. And not only that, like a few, what was it, a few months back, or actually it was probably like a year ago at this point, I was making posts, getting like community feedback because obviously it's my bar, but it's not all about me. Like I need to serve other people. And I was just asking like, what are people's feedback? Like just minor things. Like what's one thing that like draws you out? What's like your favorite, like drunk food <laughs> or like your favorite bar foods? Just so it's like, I, I, I obviously want it to be pleasing to the people but then it's, it's also just like my way of getting the community feedback, like perfect example, something I really wouldn't have thought about. Um, I asked like, what's like, what's like a, I didn't word it like this. I'm trying to remember exactly how I did, but I can't remember. Like what's a, uh, something that's, I, I, can't, I forget how the fuck I worded it. Just something that you'd want to see different in a bar, like a new bar. And the amount of people that said clean bathrooms, I was astounded. I'm like, okay, so that tells me that <laughs> people are going to places with like dingy ass bathrooms. So I'm gonna make sure damn well that my bathrooms are crispy clean. You know, it's it's those things. Like the getting the feedback from people is is so helpful. And I'm like, why don't why don't more people do this? I don't understand. But it's okay. All right, let's get into the blushes. <laughs> Let's see. What shade is the bronzer? The bronzer is the shade Dune. That is going to be more of a matte bronzer. So I picked up both of the new hourglass blushes. This is going to be Sublime Flush. Looks so pretty. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to like both of these. Don't ever judge hourglass swatches by... Or don't ever judge hourglass blushes by their swatches. If I were to pick which one's the favorite, it's definitely at night. I'm like, I can't even get my shit together. Like, I need to stop relying on the viewfinder for everything. At night, this is currently sold out at Sephora, which I'm kind of surprised about. I was expecting this to be more red, but this is why, like, I have my camera set to be very true to color. Like, this is exactly what it looks like in real life, in my opinion. It's not red. If anything, it looks more of, like, a burgundy maroon. It's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful. Oh, let's see. 
<laughs> I love that you guys are giving me feedback right now. This is everything. Favorite drunk <laughs> junk food is poutine. I love poutine always. It's so good. I love that you're going to have food. I refuse to go, to go to bars without food. Food's not like a main focus for me. You have to do food, or at least you're supposed to. You have to have a menu to have a liquor license. So every bar is technically supposed to have food. Um, more stalls for females. Why are there always lines for the ladies? I know, because that's because we all go to the bathroom together. It's like, why do we do this? <laughs> but um, that's one aspect of the bar that I'm not thrilled with is because we had pretty limited space for bathrooms. So there's only two stalls. And because we have to go by code, you can only fit two stalls to be comfortable in the area that we have. Oh, please believe you guys are going to see if you if you're not following me on Instagram, that's going to be the place to be. And I also have an Instagram for the bar as well. I saw Jennifer asked. <laughs> Jennifer had asked what the name of the bar is. It's Britches Dance Bar. So it's at Britches Dance Bar on um, Instagram. Let's see. FYI, Molly says the pink one is in the ghost palette. I almost bought it and I have the ghost. I don't have the ghost. So I was like, OK, I'm good with it. I wish that I did buy that palette, though. I'm going to first start with at night and I'm going to use, I was going to use this brush, but I want to have it more condensed. So I think I'm going to use the Refer 05. This is one of my favorite blush brushes. So I'm just going to dip in here. This is what she looks like on the brush. Like I said, do not judge hourglass blushes by swatches. You have to apply them to your face. This is where you get the full effect of why people love hourglass blushes. Like even still, it's like it at first it doesn't look like anything special. But then it's like over time, the longer that you have it on your face, you're like, oh, oh, it just has the like the softest luminescence to it. It's it's just so pretty. It's just so, so pretty. I just said clean bathroom. Yeah, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I mean, I obviously think that bathrooms is important to be clean especially being a woman but i was just like oh my god like what kind of what kind of bathrooms do we have going on <laughs> so this is going to be the shade at night i think it's beautiful it's so nice i went in a little bit heavy i do notice with this bronzer though my skin is just not looking real good right now i think it looks better on camera I don't know. I feel like I could see so much of my texture. Can you guys see all of my texture? I'm noticing with that bronzer though, it's like doing some sort of funky. I don't know if I love that. I'm probably doing these blushes no justice right now, but hopefully it'll come together guys. All right. I'm going to wipe this off. Let's see. Put in full length mirrors in the women's bathroom. We need to check our outfits. See, that's where I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that because get the fuck out of the bathroom. Like go in, go to the bathroom, wash your hands, get out. That's my point because you're not going to want to miss everything else that's going on outside. <laughs> like that, that's my thing. That's where I was like, okay, I'm not mad about having a small amount of bathrooms just because I don't want people hanging out in the bathroom. Because if you think about it, like that's where shit goes down too. Like that's where fights break out. No, let's not hang out in the bathroom. Let's get in, go to the bathroom, let the next person go and get out. That's that's my thought. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be Sublime Flush. And like they said in the chat, this was in the Ghost Palette. I'm curious to see if this is anything similar to... Oh, what's the Luminous Flush, I think? This one's much more subtle than At Night. I think this would be a really pretty, a really pretty bridal blush. This one I think is such a pretty blush for fall. So nice. This one I'm like, I could see it, but I don't know if that's like a $40 see it. That's a lie. I could see it way better. Like when I look at the mirror behind my camera, I'm like, oh, okay. I could see it way better in the mirror. I'm not noticing like, cause it has like little... It's supposed to have like a hint of lilac. I don't notice any lilac. I think it just looks like a soft pink, like very wearable everyday sort of a blush. She cute. She cute. I definitely like at night better though. That bronzer is making it not look the bomb.com though. I'm kind of disappointed in how that looks. Like I said, if you swatch these, if you swatch them, you're going to be like, okay, what, what are we doing? 
Like, why are these hyped up? Like, there's nothing special. It's the way that they look on your face. Like, even on camera, they don't come off the same as they do in person. They're just, they're just breathtaking. So this is going to be the uh, Sublime Flush. I think this will be much more suitable for fair skin. This on deeper skin, though, I think would be so, so pretty. I can't wait. So excited. Let's see. Oh, you found me through Karen. Yes. I hope you guys saw our video last night. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes. At night is so different from their other shades. I agree. Like, I think this is the most unique for sure. I love this one. Was this the year of the pig? Was this that blush? I couldn't remember. Mm, oh, yeah. I wonder, waiting to see if it's in the palette. Yeah, because you know damn well Hourglass is going to come out with some uh, some holiday blush, you know, blush palettes. They always do. That'd be nice. It would probably sell out so fast. Oh, my gosh. The fact that a full-size blush from Hourglass is sold out on Sephora is kind of shocking to me because I don't think that's, like, ever happened. I do want to put on, I want to put on this M Cosmetics. This was sent to me. Did anything else that I used so far? I'm pretty sure everything else I bought. This was sent to me. I don't love the packaging on these blushes, though. It's like, I don't want to have a tutorial for, like, I'm like, why is this so difficult? Granted, you don't need it. Like, this is more than enough right now, but it's just one of those things I'm like, why do I need a tutorial on how to get the product out of your packaging? This is what it looks like. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. I'm going to pull out this Glossier Storm. I used this in I used this in my Glossier video the other day. This looks so similar. Hold on. <gasps> wow. They're so similar. Shook. Shook, shook, shook. Hold on. Okay, they're similar. They're not identical. The M Cosmetics is more rosy toned, but that's real close. But the finishes are going to be different. The Glossier is going to be more of like a matte finish. This is going to be a wet, dewy finish. Girl, you got me stuck on that <laughs> all the Tom Ford traceless. That's what's on my face. I'm not loving how it looks, honestly, right now, though. I think I'm just having a bad skin day. But, I mean, who knows? It probably looks better than what <laughs> <laughs> without okay let's go in with what do i want to use for this i'll use my 106 so i'm going to go over those hourglass blushes because you guys saw how they look i'm going to go over those we're using the patrick ta technique how he does the cream blush after the powder oh these are so pretty they just make your skin look wet. I take a brush and just swipe the dropper. That, yeah, that's, I just, I hate the packaging. It looks so bougie too. I don't like how this is looking right here. Like I need to blend. It just looks really harsh right there, like under my eye. There we go. That's better. It doesn't look as like wet looking on me though. Maybe I need to use my finger. I just don't like using my finger. I really don't. She cute. She cute. Let me put more on. Actually, let me let me use Judy's technique. <laughs> we'll just do that. Do that. Dab it on our head so it distributes through the brush better. I saw that they just came out with a tubing mascara. Mm, Jennifer, the bo what bougie one? I don't know what you're saying. Sorry. I agree. I don't see any lilac tones. Yes. In the light hourglass. I didn't really either. I'm just like, okay, it's cute. I need to blend my under eye butter. Yeah. I think if you want the more wet look, you definitely need to use your finger because I'm not seeing any sort of like, I see it, but not on camera. I don't see as wet of a look. That's where I feel like those really stand out is when you apply it with your finger. It just looks so dewy, so beautiful. I really like the shades that they have. I want the red one in like the worst way. I just don't really love the packaging on these, honestly. 
I don't really love the packaging on those. Let's see. No, April, you're definitely not the only one. Definitely not. I just don't like it. I don't know. The bougie one, foundation. I, the Tom Ford, the traceless. That's the one I'm using. Tom Ford traceless. It's still, like, it looks good. I just think I'm having a bad skin day. I think that's all it is. Next, I'm going to use the Glossier Halo Scope. This was so pretty. So, so pretty. I love that it has, like, the the luminous sheen to it as far as, like, it actually has, like, a cream highlighter. But then it also has, like, a dewy balm. So it gives you not only a wet look, but it also gives you the shine. It's so, so pretty. Let's see. What is the exact shade of the, um, the M blush is going to be soft amethyst. I think this would be such a pretty shade for fall. Oh, this is so pretty. And this is in the shade quartz. I do have everything linked down below. I just have to fix the, uh, loose setting powder link because <laughs> clearly that's wrong. <laughs> Sorry guys. I still don't know how I did that. You know what I probably did? I probably thought I copied a link and then I pasted it and it was the link that I did before. I bet you that's what happened. Have I tried the MAC face and body? No, I have not tried, honestly, much of MAC. Like when I got into makeup, MAC was like, <sighs> I feel like everybody was still talking about MAC, but I was always so turned off by MAC because I was always treated like garbage by like if I would go in store. I just felt like how I felt in Sephora the other day where I'm like, I just feel like a bother to their employees. So I never really wanted to support well not support mac but i never wanted to go in store and that was when i hated shopping online but now i love it oh let's see um i never tried the thrive one but i want to and i'm curious how they compare i almost bought the the new m1 i i was like this close but i'm like no i don't need to because i have the lash freak i have the hourglass it's like i have mascaras but I still really want to try. <laughs> I really do want to try it. What do I need next? What do I need next? I feel like I'm missing something. I think it was powder highlighter, but I want, I want that to be the star of the show because I really like how that looks. Let me go in with, let's do brows really quick. Do you guys have any questions about anything in the meantime? I usually don't do brows on camera. I could probably call it good right here, but we'll still chit chat. We're doing a little get ready with me. Did anybody get anything during the Sephora welcome back sale? That's when I got this order. This was my $100 online purchase. And then I did go in store. And if you guys didn't see my Sephora haul, <laughs> oh boy, if you like little story times and me getting a little annoyed, that's a video to check out. Because I was so annoyed that day. How about this? Did anybody win those $500? Like how they were doing like the daily giveaway winner or whatever? Did anybody win? I was hoping I did. I was like, ooh. Oh, Kosas just dropped a new mascara too? Oh gosh, it must be like the time of mascara right now. And of course, people like me, I'm like, oh, is it a tubing mascara? Because if it's tubing, I want to try it. As soon as I saw the M1 and I saw it was tubing, I'm like, oh, man. I've just bought so much stuff lately. I need to kind of chill the fuck out. <laughs> oh. I think I'm going to be getting the Urban Decay, like the new, that new Stones palette. It looks so pretty. I'm so excited about that palette. I'm like, I think Urban Decay is about to make a comeback because they got the complexion product coming out too. It looks so cute. Love the packaging. It's like a, I actually don't know if it's a foundation or if it's like a tinted moisturizer, but it looks, I love the packaging on it. I'm like, uh oh, could Urban Decay be making a comeback right now? Now I'm using the Hourglass, the micro, uh, it's like the, micro arch pencil or something like that i've been loving this one i got this my friend gave it to me because she didn't like it i'm like oh my god i love it i love it because i can get so much more precise 
I made a big order on Sephora website with a new Pat McGrath lip vinyls and the Sephora canceled my order with no real reason. What? Why? Oh my gosh, did you guys see the new melt? Those melt B like highlight blush things? Oh my lord. They had a little mishap on the Sephora site yesterday too on that, I think. I think JC Penney's recently had another mishap like with the Sephora stuff, like the Oh my God, what was, something was on sale. Oh, the Gucci bronzer was on sale for like $10 on their site. Did anybody get that? I'm so mad that I missed it. I would have bought that in a heartbeat. Although, I saw Teresa is Dead's review on that bronzer and she was like, she was like the first unpopular review on that. I feel like everybody's loving that Gucci bronzer. Okay, we're not, we're just not having a good makeup day today, guys. I'm not loving how the brows look, but sometimes this is what happens. I will say, let me toot my own horn really quick. I feel like I'm better at applying makeup when I'm not doing it live. <laughs> Cause I'm actually paying attention to what the hell I'm doing and I can get like all up in my mirror. But when I'm live, I don't. But I just like to have fun with you guys. Cause I don't know, I don't feel like I need to have perfect makeup because I don't claim to be a makeup artist and I know the things that I like and don't like. Okay, good enough. Close enough. I just got my brows, my brows micro shaded. I'm so happy. No more pencils. Micro shaded? What is that? I got the Shiseido whip blush on the sale, but I haven't opened it. <laughs> Oh, four Melt Rust palettes. I could not be more jealous right now because I've been lusting after that palette. Well, I'm happy for you, girl. That's so exciting. Did they actually ship? I'll get the Urban Decay Stone palette too if it's the oh, Moon Dust. I hate pressed glitters. I don't think it's pressed glitters because it says like creamy formula on it. So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be like all metallics and I'm like, oh yeah, bitch. I'm pretty sure I'm getting it in PR. So I'm really excited about that. Really excited. But I haven't gotten like a shipping or anything. Oh, thank you, Amanda. You're so sweet. All right, let me go in with, I like don't even want to do the rest of my, because I'm like, I don't love the way that this looks. I don't. Let me spray my face. Maybe this will revive me of feeling. Or no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm like losing track of what I have. I got to use my Hourglass Ambient Infinity Powder because, oh my girt. I love this powder so much. I got to be careful going over those cream products though. Just watch the texture, guys. It just like vanishes. Okay, that's dramatic, but it just makes it look so much better. That just took all of that wet look away. So that was unfortunate, but it's okay. It'll come back. She'll come back. I just love this powder, though. It's so good. So nice. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Look at how much I've used. I actually think I might get a full size of this one. And yes, I use a lot because I like it and it feels good. It cools me down, especially when I got the fan going. I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels good. Okay. What's next? What's next? I don't know. I think I'm like good for today. <laughs> like, I don't really love how this looks. I don't like this shade on my eyes by itself like this. I just, I don't know why I don't. Let's, okay, I'm not going to complain. Let's just try to keep going. How about that? Stop being a baby. And let's just finish it. This is the Wayne Goss. The black liner he has. Oh, I just got that all over my lid. Way to go, Brittany. He has some of the best liners I've ever used. Full stop. Especially in these shades. He's got black, the brown. The brown is fire. So good. Jennifer, how dare you ask me that? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's a brand that I will not purchase from ever again. Hold on, I got something in my eye. Where did it go? False alarm. 
Well, I shouldn't say that because there is something in my eye, but we're going to keep going. Look at I like barely have to touch. See how pigmented, how creamy. The formula is so weird though, because it's like it. How do I want to explain this? It's like it applies creamy, but it's not creamy. Like the when you swatch it, you're like, oh, it's a little bit more tough, but when you apply it, it's creamy. It's so bizarre. I see so many people have been DMing me that Alta has. 20% off, but it's not prestige. And unfortunately, I need prestige. Oh my God, if you guys only seen how many DMs I got yesterday. Oh, it has 20% off. I'm like, yeah, but I can't get prestige items. <laughs> Don't love that for me. <laughs> uh, bam. Um... My code should be, oh, in your email. Okay, for the, or, or Ulta. I need a recommendation for a nice color in the Pat McGrath Lust Glosses. Pale Fire Nectar, 100%. Pale Fire Nectar. I don't have it right next to me. I think I threw it in the box. But that is, that's the only one that I have, but I cannot recommend it enough. Actually, is it right here? Nope, it's not. I don't know where it is, or I would show it to you. It's so pretty. I feel like all those glosses, though, are going to be absolutely beautiful. Let's go on with the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I love that sound. With the worst lashes on YouTube. I hate my eyelashes. Because I have, like, decent lashes on the outer part of my eye. But... On the inner part, I'm like, where are they? I was going to put lashes on, but for this look, I'm just like, uh, I'm probably going to end up just taking it off as soon as I'm done. Because I don't, I just don't love it. Today's just one of those days I just don't feel like wearing the makeup. Like, normally I would kind of tough it out and be like, okay, I'll wear it anyways. Not today. I'm just like, mm. Uh, let's see. No, Je Jennifer, it's just, I just don't support that brand. Not after the whole lipstick situation. If you want to know more context, you can go back and watch two of the top performing videos on my channel are about Jacqueline Cosmetics lipsticks and how poorly handled and I just, I can't support a brand like that. So there, there's the lump summary of it all. I know sometimes I need to remember, like, not everybody's seen those videos of mine, but they, like, <laughs> I feel like so many people found me because of those videos. <laughs> so I always assume that people know, but I need to not. And then I need to stop blinking, so I stop transferring. Like, see how, like, poor my lashes are? I have, like, nothing on the inner part, so it's like, what am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> That's why I always wear <laughs> lashes. Okay, I need to let that dry. Stop it, Brittany. You're going to screw everything up. Wow. All right, let's, while we're waiting for that, while we fix it, let's go in with some lip products. Juvia's Place is now available on Ulta. So this is going to be the shade Lush in the lip liner. I've worn this lip cocktail quite a few times since my initial video on the Juvia's Place. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a basic ass lip liner, but for the price, these are really good. She cute. My lips but better. Sort of a lip gloss. Next, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place 2020 lipstick. Love these. Love these. And they're super... I don't want to say... They are affordable. I mean, 
in my opinion, they are. I know everybody's opinion on affordable is different, but for the quality, these are bomb. Beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. Love them. And then I can't believe how long this video is. Right? Like for the most basic look of all time, how long that eyeshadow palette took in the beginning. Like if you're wondering how this look took me so long, you'll have to go back and watch me try the colored rain juicy boost for the second time. Cause let's see. Amber asked, remind me the lip liner, is it creamy or dry? I would say it's more creamy, but it's not super creamy where you feel like it's going to slip and slide. And then I'm going to use the Rouge Cocoa Gloss in the shade 804. This was sent to me. Oh, I thought it was going to go, but it didn't. This is so nice. Pretty. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So this is the most basic look of all time that took me way too long. Thanks to the colored rain, but I still feel the exact same way as I did last night about that palette. If you want to watch a long ass video, I mean, a lot of the video you could, you could flip through if you don't like swatches, because we did swatches of the palette first, and then we did two eye looks. It was me and Karen Harris. So two different skin tones. We did one look with the same color story. So we did the first look was with the top row. These metallics are, to me, the only thing worth it for this palette. So we both used the top row for the first look, and then I used the pink row, and then Karen used this row. I just am not impressed whatsoever. Those Juvia's, Pla Juvia's Place lipsticks and lip liners blew my mind. Honestly, I don't know <laughs> what else to expect. They're so nice. Like, they are so pretty. Such a great formula. Like, they feel like high-end lip products. I mean... Okay, I won't go that far to say that about the lip liner. The lip liner just feels like a lip liner. It's good. The lipsticks are the standout for me. I was like, oh, wow, these are really... Nice. Like, this lip cocktail, beautiful. Love it. Not going to lie, I have the Jaclyn Hill highlight and the powders. They are pretty bomb. I don't doubt that. It's just, like I said in my Sephora video, I can't deal with piss-poor customer service and just... After that whole situation, and then now I guess the news is that the parent company of Jacqueline Cosmetics is Morphe. How many times have we heard that Jacqueline doesn't Jacqueline Cosmetics doesn't have a parent company? If you want more context on it, I know Jen talked about it in her like uh, her live stream on Sunday. I didn't watch the whole thing because I was like, I just I just didn't have time to, quite honestly. But um that's like the, that's the new, I guess they changed the name. I forget what, what was it like something whole, I think it was like Morphe Holdings or Jacqueline Holdings, but then they changed the name. So now it's, uh, it, it's essentially Morphe is the parent company of Jacqueline Cosmetics. Uh, let's see. I think they're more in the middle waxy yet creamy, waxy enough to get a good line and staying power in the lipstick. Oh my God. So creamy. I just love that. Yeah. I, I do agree with that. Like, I feel like the lip liner, it's like, it, it's honestly hard for me. I'm like, it's hard to blow me away with a lip liner, but I feel like it does have like a toughness to it. It kind of reminds me of like a lip liner version of the Wayne Goss. Like it's got like a toughness to it, but it's still creamy, if that makes sense. So it's like longevity wise, it feels like it is going to make like a difference for longer. Let's see. <laughs> Yes, I totally agree. I try not to talk about them often on my channel just because I think it's better now to just not because there's no such thing as bad publicity. So there's that. I'm just going to blend this out with the Cal Yeah shade. I don't know. I'm so disappointed in this colored rain palette, though. I'm sorry, guys. I tried it again just to try it. And I still feel the same way as I did last night. I mean, if you get it, please let me know what you guys think. Because, like I said, I'm not like the end-all be-all when it comes to makeup reviews. You might get it and you might fucking love it. It might be the best thing since sliced bread for you. It just was not it for me, sis. Mm, like a MAC lip liner, yes. Or yes, Wayne Goss. Yes, totally agree. Totally agree. They remind me actually a lot of one another. 
now that you say that. Now let's take mint leaves on my Sigma E42. This brush reminds me of the Sonya G Mini Booster. Very similar now that I think about it. So what do we think? What was your favorite product that I used today? I mean, I know everybody's going to say the Colored Rain Juicy Boost, but... <laughs> oh, man. I'm just over here, like... Trying to make the best of it. Uh, Jennifer, you'll have to go back and watch. <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch. It's a long video, but you could skip through a lot of it because a lot of it is swatches. But yeah, definitely go check it out if you want more context on the Juicy Boost palette. But as for me, I still feel the same as I did last night. As far as for the Nat Natasha Denona Multichrome, I think it's cute. Like I like it more now that like all of my makeup's done. I like it more now, but I think I think the right shade is what I need to focus on. <laughs> like, I think the shade is really pretty. When you swatch it, it just looks more, it looks more poppy on your hand versus your eyes. But I think it's still cute. I just think for the price and the size, I don't, I don't honestly know if I'll buy more. I think I would rather buy more indie, like, like Cleona eyeshadows versus buying something like this. That's just me in my opinion. I think the blushes is my favorite thing, especially the shade at night. Like Sublime Flush is pretty, but I more of prefer at night just because that's that's my vibe. But um, yeah, that's this is the fave for me. I really do like this one. I'm not sold on color range. You see, boost. I should have waited at home. Like I hope that if you guys did buy it, you have a better experience than I did. We'll just leave it at that. So other than that, guys, this took way longer than I was expecting. I was only expecting to be live for maybe an hour, but uh, we see how that went. So that's going to be it for me for today's video. I'm, I'm getting my banner flipped over really quick. I need to start being more prepared. On that one. But other than that, that's going to be it for, for me. For for me. Wow, guys, it's one of those days already. I can already feel it. Anyways, I will keep you guys posted when I will be live again. Most likely, I would say, what, what's today? Tuesday? Maybe Thursday? I'll keep you guys posted, though, when I will be live and what it will be about. Because I'm waiting to see if I get that Urban Decay, the um, that new palette. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for my Nordstrom stuff to still come. So many cute things, though. Yeah, that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys in my next one.